In this video, I'm going to talk about topics in Copilot Studio. Now, what is a topic? Topics define a path that the customer or the user can take while interacting with the Copilot. There are different types of topics, system topics and custom topics. Now, custom topics, uh, as the name suggests, is basically customizing uh, based on your need and requirement. System topics are available out of the box. System topics can't be deleted. However, custom topics can be deleted. Uh, a single topic can have multiple trigger phrases. A uh, single co-pilot can have maximum of 1,000 topics. Now, uh, a topic basically consists of couple of elements like the trigger phrases and the conversation node. It can have one trigger phrase uh, and then it can have a multiple conversation node. Now, uh, the conversation node defines how the co-pilot should respond to. Uh, trigger phrases are basically the phrases or the questions entered by users. Now, the trigger, so basically topics consist of a couple of things, trigger uh, and the conversation node. Now, the trigger, one of the component can be a trigger phrases, okay? Now, creating a topic. There are multiple ways to create a topic. You can create from blank or you can create from description with Copilot. Now, if you use Copilot to describe your topic, then it will automatically define the topic component. Like in this example, uh, it has given you an option to let someone order a pizza, choosing from common pizza types and how many they want to order. So if you select this and if you specify create a topic too, then it will automatically create the topic along with the conversation node. So it will do the work for you. Topic details, what all things are covered in the topic details. So uh, there's a name, there's a display name, there's a description and you have input and output parameters. So a topic can take an input parameter and topic can also output uh, parameters. Now, the topic parameter can be of various data types. Um, I'm going to show that in the demo. Uh, topic triggers. Now, uh, if you see a topic trigger from a uh, custom perspective and from a system perspective, there are various topic triggers like on conversation start, uh, on unknown intent for conversational boosting, on redirect for end of conversation, uh, on talk to agent uh, if there is an escalation, on unknown intent if there is a fallback, on select in turn, uh, intent if its multiple topics has been matched, uh, on error trigger for on error topic, uh, on redirect trigger for reset conversation topic. System topics. System topics are common topics used in the co-pilot conversation. System topics are necessarily to help co-pilot run effectively. Uh, system topics triggers on specific event. You cannot delete a system topic. Topic can be redirected to system topic by using a redirection. Uh, now, system topics which are available out of the box are conversation start, end of conversation, conversational boosting, escalate, fallback, multiple topics matched, on error, reset conversation, sign in. So I'll cover a separate video whereby I'm going to go through each and every system topic just to uh, be make yourself familiar with each and every concept of the system topics. Now, let me jump straight into the demo. So this is the co-pilot which I've already created. Now, if I go inside the topics here you will see uh, an option of custom and system okay so this particular table consists of custom topics and if i click on system i can see this is a system topic now system topic uh, are available out of the box okay there are uh, some custom topics which are created out of the box, but there are some which I've already created like Girish error intentional, sign in force, multi-topic one. Now the system, uh, the custom topic which I have labeled out of the box are like goodbye, greeting, uh, you know, then lesson one, simple topic, lesson two, simple topic with a condition and variable, lesson three, topic with condition, variable and pre-built entity and start over. Now, Let's look into the system topic. Now, system topics are necessary to help your co-pilot run effectively. Now, what all the things we can do with the system topic is like if you do not want the system topic, you can uh, disable it. OK, so what I've done, I have disabled the conversation start. OK, now what will happen is like if you disable conversation start, then it will uh, rely on some other topic for the conversation to trigger okay so like this you can turn on and turn off the system topic now the other option what you can do is you can view the details of this topic so i'm inside conversation stop 
start system topic and here you can see there is no input and there is no output variable you can create a new variable and the variable data type can be of string boolean number date time time record table unspecified from sample data so there's a lot of option available similarly for output you can have various data types defined right now this is from a system topic perspective now what do you have in a system topic or any topic is first like two components one is the trigger and the second one is the uh, conversation node now there's only one conversation node here but there can be multiple conversation node okay against a specific uh, topic now the trigger the trigger component as you see over here it is triggering on some specific trigger now here the trigger name is on conversation start now if you click on this change trigger here you will see a complete list of phrases message received event received activity received conversation update received invoke received redirect inactivity so a whole bunch of trigger options are available and you can pick and choose whatever you want now let's do one thing uh, let's again go back to the topics leave this topic and let's see add a topic now there is an option to create a blank topic so if i click on from blank i can say i can create a topic now say let's assume the trigger phrases is uh i'll just write in uh say cricket t20 world cup okay so this is the trigger phrase or maybe i'll just type cricket or i'll just say world cup i'll just say icc cricket okay so these are some of the trigger phrases which uh, i want uh, to be triggered if you want to navigate to this topic now here you just name the trigger i'll call it as cricket topic okay uh, and then i have added phrases now it is always recommended to add five to ten phrases then i'll add one more phrase i'll just say back ball game okay so that's one of the trigger uh, phrase uh, in advance i can select whether to include in multiple topic matches or not I'm okay with it, or maybe I'll just remove that uh, the checkbox. Uh, also, what to do? Okay, once you receive that trigger, so you can add various component node. Now you can add send a message, ask a question, ask with adaptive card. Uh, what I'm gonna do just to keep it simple, I'll just say send a message. Okay, and here I'll say uh, thanks for selecting ticket topic. Okay, now here. Uh, from a, a trigger perspective uh, i can make use of this properties okay so if you click on phrases over here i can add phrases also i can see show writing tips so i'll get some tips on how to use the trigger phrases okay it clearly mentioned copilot needs five to ten short trigger phrases to work it to work perfectly now i'll click on save and this is what is i've created one custom topic okay so that's a cricket topic so let it save now we are going to create uh we can test this so let me just type in cricket and let's see what it responds so if i type in cricket uh it it has not identified this uh i think because of uh this system is not yet published or maybe i just need to reset the conversation so let me reset the conversation and now type in cricket and if it doesn't uh, reply back uh, I need I will publish it but as you see over here it has already replied back and says thanks for selecting cricket topic so that means this topic is now getting triggered coming back to topic again what I'm going to do instead of creating your own topic or custom topic and specifying the phrases and the conversation node so there is an another way to create a topic now if you click here add a topic this button here there's an option to create from description with copilot now you can name your topic and you can specify what does that topic uh, will do okay so basically uh, i'll just say check the flight status and uh, retrieve back or just say and reply back the number to use it okay so i can type in in english like sentence okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna not type in uh, the instruction rather i'll try extracting it from the suggestion so it says accept a user's name age and date of birth and then repeat their response back to them so name your topic i'll just call it collect user profile okay so let's assume this is my topic i'll just say collect user profile I'll just give some space and i'll try to create so from a uh, custom 
topic perspective, what we can do is uh, we can view the list of the custom topics which are available uh, out of the box and the one which you have created. So there are quite a few custom topics which are available out of the box. You can turn on and off the topic. So if you do not want this topic to appear, you can just turn on the switch, turn off the switch, and then uh, this particular lesson one simple topic will be disabled. This will remain in the application. However, it won't be triggered. Uh, you can view the details of a custom topic, like how we have seen for the system topic, we can view the topic details, input and output. Uh, and you can navigate from multiple topics from this drop down. So whenever, if you want to go into any of the topic, you can go into the topic. So if I want to go to pizza ordering topic, I can navigate it from here directly. Uh, again, I'll go back to the topics and then in this three dots, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on make a copy so I can create a topic based on the existing topic okay so similarly if i have this pizza delivery written i can make a copy of it and then it will start provisioning the same uh topic uh, but you know it's kind of duplicating the value so here as you see over here it has duplicated that value and i can click on save but i'm not going to do that i'll again go back to topics and then uh, i'll show you another option we can delete the topic so if i do not want a simple topic with uh, a condition i'll just click on delete and it says are you sure you want to delete the lesson with a lesson to a simple topic with a condition and variable i'll click on delete so now remember the system topic cannot be deleted however the custom topic we can go ahead and delete it if we do not want that and it will also show you when have you last modified the system topic and if there are any inherent errors within that topic so it will show that error list over here so like this you can play around with the topic you can add various nodes nodes conversation nodes and you can change the trigger of that topic as well here you can search the custom topics uh, and uh, there are other uh, areas whereby you can view the system topics you can view the custom topics you can view all the topics uh, and then uh, depending on what Kind of topic it is like this one is like if it's a system topic it will only show you details however if it is like a custom topic it will allow you to make a copy it will allow you to delete it right so so these are the things it will allow you to do so that's it folks this is all about topics i'm going to cover system topics in much depth in my uh, next video uh, so stay tuned thanks for watching